we were always aware of the fact that the professors, not always in Cambridge, okay, but the professors tended to be male um, and the less senior professors tended to be female. The challenges and opportunities haven't really changed. The main challenge is time. The second challenge is the attitude of your colleagues. And I think that's something that you really have to bear in mind. A lot of the time we tell women to have more confidence in themselves. That's good. But having confidence in yourself is nothing if your colleagues don't have confidence in you. And that's something to really bear in mind as well. And it's an expectation that you have to anticipate and respond to. Once you start having children, I had children when I was already a senior lecturer, or just about actually to become a senior lecturer. I was promoted that year. Um, that's an important challenge. I would give two pieces of advice to women who are starting out on what I hope will be a successful research career for them. To really focus on being your own best advocate. Um, in English, you say you need to blow your own trumpet. And it is a fact that unless you have some really strong mentors and allies around you, and that's the next stage, professors who believe in you, a PhD supervisor who pushes you. My PhD supervisor pushed me, encouraged me, really made me feel that what I was saying was valuable. You do have to make that effort yourself. Don't let yourself get put off by requirements. It is a well-known cliche, I'm afraid it's also a fact, that female candidates tend to apply for jobs when they think they meet all the criteria, and male candidates, because society, which is patriarchal, has encouraged them to believe that they can do it, tend to apply for a job if they meet half the criteria. Do you have to meet all of those criteria? Maybe you can learn some of them. Maybe you can actually be mentored and helped with other criteria. The most important goal in all of this is assertiveness. Not to be strong and aggressive, but to be assertive, to make your presence felt, to make sure that your voice counts and to be respected. Part of that starts with you. The rest of it is about persuading others to listen to you. If you walk home at the end of the day and you know that you are doing exactly what you hoped you would be able to do in some way, when you were 10 years old, then you have succeeded. That involves self-belief, it involves determination, and it involves having a lot of trust in yourself. We, we start our career uh, in women in science uh, almost at the same moment where we have to make a decision about family, uh, whether have children or not. And, and the two things are very, it's very tricky to, to coordinate them and to handle them in, in an efficient way. Research uh, requires a lot of energy, requires concentration, requires long hours, mobility, traveling for conferences and, and seminars. And when you have one or two or more children, small children, this is very complicated to do. Several policies as an answer to COVID that closed down the schools and the, the nurseries amplified uh, the problem of coordination of work and, and, and motherhood. Children at home had to be uh, home taught, and, and very often uh, there we needed a bargaining between uh, husband and wife how to take care of the children. So research shows that uh, girls and women are less confident in themselves than men. And this is key for research. You have to be self-confident to persist with your project, research project. You have to be confident when you are participating in a hiring and an interview. So if I can give modestly an advice, it's to be persistent, to uh, look at ourselves and be confident about what we are able to do and, and persist with uh, our desires. If research and science is your dream, go for it, be persistent, be confident, and find yourself a supportive partner. So there's uncertainty about the outcome of the next experiment, the next funding application, the next career step. Um, but it's, um, it's also uh, an opportunity, actually, because um, this life somehow never becomes boring. Every day you, know, you learn new things um, and you get to travel quite a bit. So you, even you get to, to live and work in other countries, which I found very enriching. Um, and I also learned that it's, uh, it might seem incompatible, but it is not incompatible with building up a family. Believe in your ideas and uh, build up the necessary self-confidence and then pursue these ideas uh, uh, with, uh, you know, uh, passion and persistence. Surround yourself by the right people, people that are compatible with you, 
but also that uh, support you and that believe in you. Well, uh, first of all, um, challenges are, um, yeah, I, I think uh, to deal with the uh, insecurities um, of the academic life because before obtaining te um, tenure, you don't know where you will um, work, where you will do your research. And even if you're entering a very, um, yeah, a very enthusiastic uh, environment, it's um, not sure that you can stay there. And that's one of the biggest challenges that I personally encountered. Um, and um, but the opportunities certainly are that in research you can do really what you're interested in. You can um, focus on aspects that you're really enthusiastic about, and that's what I really love um, about doing uh, research. Well, I would uh, suggest first of all to really um, choose a topic you're really enthusiastic about. I think that's the most important thing. But you should also uh, look for connecting points, maybe with other with questions that are um, interesting also for the public, so that you can also have a chance to get funded your project. And um, secondly, I would um, say, well, we have to deal with a lot of feedback. Uh, we, we are submitting our manuscripts, we are submitting research grants, and um, it's not always, um, we do not always get positive feedback. Sometimes we do not um, get grant. And um, uh, the th important thing is uh, to, yeah, to be not too critical about yourself, to uh, cherish also your accomplishments, to integrate the negative feedback um, into improving your research proposals, but to also cherish the positive feedback. And uh, the third um, aspect, I think, would be that you should uh, also team up with others and to um, build networks. I think networking is very important in research and it's also one of the most um, yeah the most inspiring points that you can encounter people all over the world and um, exchange about your research with them so doing research is one of the greatest uh, jobs in my opinion that you can do because you can really focus on things that you are enthusiastic about and i wish you all good luck for your career and that you will be able to accomplish your goals I'm working on a mass extinction event 200 million years ago. And at that time, almost 80% of life on Earth disappeared. This was caused by catastrophic events like asteroid impacts, volcanism, earthquakes. And this can be excellently studied here in Luxembourg. The challenges are just to find them, to find these traces because it's not so easy and you have to find them, you have to read, to interpret and to understand. And I would say this is high science. If you like what you do and you find something, what you want to do, for example, or maybe geosciences, then even if it gets hard and rocky and dusty, don't give up, just do it. And of course, we need more women in the science because geology is also linked to many other sciences, we are not so representative in these fields. Just rock it. I noticed after the PhD that there are fewer and fewer women who actually manage to go on in research. So it starts at the postdoctoral level where the number slightly increases and then especially later when you get to the professorial level there is a really sharp drop. And I think my impression is that this has to do with the kind of perception of women as being really good assistants. So it's easy to get the first couple of jobs, but people don't really see women as people who can lead. So that is a challenge. Don't be shy, speak up. Mm -hmm.